Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In the last video I serviced the R1200R and everything was alright except the seat lock was pushed in. If you haven't seen the video feel free to check my channel and uh, find it. But in this video I'm just going to try and fix that uh, seat lock, put it back in place. So let's get to it. If you look right there, that should be a keyhole to, to unlock the seat and it's gone. It's not there. According to the owner, some of the neighborhood kids pushed that in. So the lock is in the bike under the seat, it's just not accessible. So let's see if you can get to it and install it back in place. So I'm just going to remove the mudguard and see if I can fish the barrel out. After removing the four screws, you have to bend it a bit to pop it out. But it is doable without breaking it. And there's the barrel, nicely tucked away. Now I can pop the seat off. Good, now that the seat is off, I can think about how to fix this. Access is very limited though, so I'll have to take everything apart and get it on the workbench. So this barrel was originally glued on the number plate holder, but I don't want to do that, I'd, ra I'd rather have it bolted together. So I'm going to remove the two screws that hold the plastic housing together and extend the holes through. Now I can put it in place, and fortunately I've got these two cutouts, probably intended to access the screws I've just removed, and I can use those to drill my holes into the number plate holder. I needed a little extension, as my drill track was too big to fit in there. Now let's see if I can find some suitable bolts, nuts and washers. And there we go, everything lines up and I can bolt it together. I think that's not looking too bad. You could say the bolts are not temper proof and you can get to them from below, but what would you do with them? Worst thing you could do is just drop the barrel back in the bike, which isn't going to help much. Now let's just put everything back together quickly and we're done. And we're all good. Last job was to reattach the cable for the latch, and we're good to go. And that's it. Everything's back together and I can take the bike out of the garage and on to the next project. Thanks for watching.